Hello YouTube, this is Scientific here, and welcome back to another Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to cover else if, because in the last tutorial we covered the if statement, now we're going to cover the else if, or elif, as it is called in Python. So, if you remember from the last tutorial, what we can do is we can say x equals 10, and y equals 10, if x is equal to y, print logic works in Python. How awesome is that? And then since it is, if it says if x is equal to y, which it is, then print logic works in Python. How awesome is that? It's very awesome if you ask me. But instead of having to do multiple if statements, you know, say it wasn't, say it was 20 and we didn't want to use our conditional statement for whatever reason, our uh, conditional operators. What we can do is we can say elif x is less than or equal to, well, just less than for it in this case, y print logic. We'll make this say logic does not work in Python. Or terrible is that? Logic does work in Python. How awesome is that? Now, what this says is if x is equal to y, print hello world. So, what does it say? If x is equal to y? No. Well, x is 10, y is 20. I guess it's not. Oh, well. Oh, what's this? Elif? Oh, so if x is not, if this isn't true, then we're going to try this one. So, this tries it in an order. It will try this one, it will try this if statement. And if that's not true, if that is false, if that evaluates to false, if x is not equal to y, then, you know, that's what it is. Checking for equality here. And if it's, if there's no equality found and this returns false, then it will go on to this one, which says else elif x is less than y. So this is basically another if statement that goes in sequential order with this, excuse me, with this if statement. So it says, if x is equal to y, do this. Well, it's not. So otherwise, uh, if x is equal to y, do this. So it's basically another if statement in the same if statement statement. It's still in the same if statement. It's just an extra little piece of the jigsaw puzzle that you can snap on, if you understand that. And you can have as many elifs as you want. But you can't keep saying if x is equal to y, if x is less than or equal to y, because then it's not part of the same chain of if statements, if you like. But you can have as many elifs as you want, but in one block you only have one if, and as I will cover in the next tutorial, you only have one else. Uh, yeah. So this is the second piece of the puzzle in the if statement, and uh, hopefully that makes sense. So, yeah, thank you for watching this tutorial. If there's something you didn't understand, if I went too fast, anything, let me know and I will help you out. I will go over it with you and I will try to help you understand Python because it's a pretty awesome language. But uh, that's all for this tutorial, unfortunately. Now, I know you're excited that I'm Python and you're like, oh, this tutorial's over. Why? I just wanted to learn more Python. I want to code. Well, don't worry. Don't worry, my friend. You can just wait until the next tutorial, which I will be recording straight after this one. And then I have about three other tutorials in mind. Not tutorial series, but three other tutorials on Python in mind. But thank you for watching. My name is Sonic2KK, and I will see you in the next tutorial.